On our last video, we saw the inside of a working boatyard. This boatyard is called Shelter Island Boatyard in San Diego, California. We were told by Linda there was an employee there named Reggie who fell off the boat ramp three separate times. We got a chance to talk with Reggie and he told us a story. So let's go and let's meet Reggie. This is Reggie. He's specialty here is uh, working on these boats. I don't know much about it or what they do, but I know that everybody here is a specialist in their own field. But I heard a story that when Linda worked here, <laughs> that somehow, some way, Linda accidentally pushed Reggie into the ocean. <laughs> Is this true? I might have to verify that might be true right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's not what happened, but uh, I've only been in the water two times in uh, 38 years. I'll have to say that right away. The first time was in 1984. I was walking on the deck. They didn't have a reel. I was running to the front right there. I had some old steel toe shoes on, real slippery bottoms right there, and whoop, slipped. Tried to catch myself straight in is where I went. Next thing I know, I popped up. I was back on the dock though before I got too wet. I can tell you that right now. I swam, hat stayed on too, by the fact. <laughs> Never lost your hat. <laughs> Never lost my hat right there. <laughs> Hop back up on the dock. Back on there. Oh man, I'm at the change clothes right here. So that was the rough one. But I had, that was a learning experience. I was new right there. It took me a lot of years to go back in. And this, the second time I went, that wasn't my fault at all. Couple new guys helping me work right there, and I'm walking a little sailboat around, and I'm on the swim step, and they kept going, and I'm saying, "Wait a minute, hang on a minute," and they kept walking the boat. I ran out of real estate, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what happened when you run out of real estate? Boop! There I went in the drink right there. They they still crack up and make fun about me. They said I was swimming like a cat right there and there. They said kicking and swimming. I was like, no, I was getting out of that water is what I was doing right there. That was only the second time that I ever been in the water. And that was about a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. It took me 37 years to get back in that water right there. And that was my last time I'm going in too right there. I'm telling them that right there no matter what. The next time I'll put my claws into the boat right there. <laughs> Before I go in. <laughs> no doubt. Now I was over there a while ago. And I seen about where you fell in. How yeah. far down is that? That water right there I'll say right now. It's probably about 16, 17 feet. Did that hurt? No, 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 it don't hurt, right? You just want to get out of that water. That's what you want to do. Right? Did you get out by yourself? Or? Oh, well, the last time I had to get a little help right there. I had a big jacket on, right? It, it was pretty rough that day right there. So that's, that's you know, my excuse right there. I'm going to stick with that right there. I didn't get much help, but they helped me a little bit getting out right there. I didn't need it, but they helped me out getting out. So. <laughs> oh, and you've been here how many years? 37 and a half. Matter of fact, September will be 38 years. So right you must there. be happy with the employee employment here and the, and the supervisors and everything? Yes, yes. I, You know, like I said, I, my buddy Roy, boy, he looked out for me for many years. Many years. Wayne has too right there. Well, so who's Roy? Oh, uh, Roy, I, you know, this, this young lady right here next to me right there, she's probably familiar with him. Right oh, you there. mean Frank? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Frank. Well, that's, I, guess you, that, I guess that's his nickname. Matter of fact, right? next time you see Roy, tell him Skip said hi to Frank. <laughs> I want to get that going. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, that must be a little nickname right there. He'll probably tell me, who said that? <laughs> He'll know what you're talking yeah. about. I'm not getting you in trouble, in trouble. anyway. No. <laughs> you got it. All right, well, Reggie, I appreciate your time. And I, and I appreciate your time right there, but you remember that. Take that a note. That was my last and final time going in, too, right there. <laughs> and, and, the, and the moral of the story is, if you're walking backwards, don't run out of real estate. No doubt about that. <laughs> Make sure of that. And if so, you better be like fast as a cat and roll up on there. Because back, back in 84, I think I'd have made it. Uh, just a little bit slower this time. 
<laughs> okay, Reggie. Well, let's go back to work. Thanks for, you for got talking to us. No problem. And I uh, appreciate Linda for introducing you to us. Most definitely. And uh, we, we're learning a lot here by watching. It's fascinating for us to watch. Yes, that's it. Yeah. And like always, everybody, Reggie and I will say we'll see you all on the other side. You can there's take our, that to the bank. There's our card. <laughs>
But the one thing I'm probably not going to do is I'm not going to I'm not going to climb the uh, spiral stairway to go to the top. I don't. I know Sue won't. So let's see what we got up here. Well, here I am on the other side. This is the ocean side. And these walking paths all around here, I hope this camera picks it up. Can you see way down there? People walking around. These walking paths go all the way down there. I'm not going down there. I'm just not in the physical shape right now to do that kind of thing. They're lucky I made it this far. There's also an observation deck right over there on a walking trail. It's windy up here on this side. The other side wasn't so windy. Hope the wind ain't bothering you guys. Pretty blue water. On the other side over here is a, a kelp farm, I guess you call it. That's probably kelp though I see right there toward the edge of the uh, ocean there, right? Yeah, that right there you can see all that stuff right there. Oh, you see growing? Yeah, that is kelp. That's yeah, kelp. You can see it. it's real obvious that it's here. Yeah. I see ships way out there. Going somewhere. We're over here at the Hobbs Memorial Cemetery. Linda Hobbs family donated this land. <laughs> I'll edit that out. Look at all these wives that are here. Oh, they yeah. Rose, Elizabeth, Viola. They're all here. But they're all the they're all wives here. and not husbands. Oh no, I know what it is. Okay, the wife's name, the wife's name's on that side and the husband's on the other. Oh, okay. Side. How come they're all women? <laughs> spectacular like on Memorial Day or Flag Day when they put up American flags on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's kind of why we was kind of blown away when we seen that Confederate cemetery and all those Confederate plaques. I've never seen that before. I, I hadn't either. It was just uh, it was so unusual. Okay, Linda, I will take a picture. Quit nagging. Does 
everybody going to look at the same thing? <laughs> Could be. We might be all going to Horton Hill Mill. Yes. We used to have to pay to go in and out. But yeah. apparently they got enough money stored up. They decided that at least for some period of time we wouldn't have to pay. I can't really see over there yet, but what's over here is the land that was donated by the Hobbs family. And this is the Hobbs Sand Dune National Park. There we go. And um, anyway, we went down this country road because it was a straight shot to Savannah. And it was not a four-lane highway or nothing like that. So we're going down there. We're getting close to Savannah. And then it came this bridge. And this bridge was like a mountain. I mean, it went way up in the air. And when it came down, it was one of them, you got to ride your brakes all the way down or your car just takes off. That would have concerned me a bit in the motorhome. But the thing was, the road, though, literally almost dead-ended in the parking lot of the um, guest services there. Well, and you don't need a whole lot of shit. Every one of those campers, every one of those campers got two air conditioners on top. Look at them. It's 68 two, two, two. degrees. But I'm just saying, it, it could get hot here. But it's nice to know that they got that. How much is it? I don't know. Right, well, I'm gonna take a guess. Minimum. Two hundred dollars a night. Oh no 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 no! It's, it's like I'm thinking maybe sixty bucks. A this night. is on the beach right there. Yeah. Two hundred bucks right. a night. No, I don't think so, but you might be right. I don't think so. I wonder if I can find. What's it called? We're not okay. Court. What? Still got paid to get in. It looks like on state beach. Well, if it's a camping area, you gotta pay, you, you, yeah, you got to pay. You got to pay. You want to play? You got to pay. It's a scam. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Coronado Caves instead. State Beach entrance. Okay. There she is. 